Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Ding. TNT, you ruined this one on the last one. So Bill Cosby's going to do a comedy tour. <laughs> my favorite comedian. Yeah. <laughs> is, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? You don't like him? Yo, so why does this man not know when to stop? I don't know. Like, I feel, okay, part of me feels like it's a money grab because he's like, I'm broke. I need money. Yeah. But then my second part of me goes, how many people does he really think are going to show up to his comedy shows uh. after he was convicted of rape and then they, for, on a technicality, had to throw it out because he was given immunity <laughs> years ago? And he's just like, you know what? I'm going to go out and be funny, Dad, again. Do, 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 do. Chocolate cake, Jello pops. It's, it is it is kind of nuts. It's like, okay, look, I know these aren't in the same vein, but Louis C.K. waited like five years. Mike Tyson waited like 20. <laughs> so I just don't. That's a new comedy. It's, dude. I just don't understand how you could not, like, you know, he was let Louis it cool CK down for like a good. Rape? I'm sorry, like, what? Was Louis C.K. convicted of rape? Or did he just no. get me too and like that he was being inappropriate? Uh, he pulled his junk out and started beating it in front of somebody. Oh my lord! Yeah, he he admits to it in in some of his comedy, and he's then, then again he's the way he kind of frames it is like oh, I guess everybody knows what I'm into. Yeah, I'm into doing that in front of girls, but you know, usually if you do it in front of somebody, they tell you to stop. <laughs> and then you know, then you stop. But if a person doesn't tell you to stop, then you just keep going. And I was like, still kind of gross, you know. Yeah. I, I don't just <laughs> the Bill Cosby roofied and raped people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would get say it. that's worse. I get it. He's he's pretty disgusting human. Louis being. C.K. was convicted in the court of public opinion. D yeah. And Bill Cosby was convicted by a damn judge. Jury and executioner, like yeah, he, should, he. If anybody should be canceled, it should be Bill Cosby for doing that to multiple women. Um, yes, I agree. But do you think? Like, here's my other thing. I don't think he has enough star power to like sell out these shows. I mean, that is insane because Bill Cosby was prior to these allegations that have been founded. Do that mean he people was, not care about his? exploits that they're just gonna be like well i'm gonna go see him he's great we'll see jonas we're we're from the age where we don't really care about bill cosby but i gr i'm not gonna lie i've got family who grew up watching uh the, the cosby show dude i loved the cosby show when i was a kid i watched it <laughs> okay then. yeah so like i mean i thought bill cosby was awesome i didn't realize you were that old but that's fine <laughs> 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 I'm just saying that that even our our cohort, Jonas, because I've watched the Cosby Show as a kid as well, weren't as in tune with the Cosby Show as somebody that was like a Gen Xer. Right. If you were like twenty something when the Cosby Show was on, like, and it was like a TV show that was on, you probably related to it a lot more. Yeah. So the Cosby Show is a big thing, and like, you can't you can't Fat deny Albert. The, you can't deny the fact that uh, I don't even think it's a money grab. To be honest with you, I don't think Bill Cosby is is hurting for money. The man prior to these allegations allegations was looking into buying uh nbc or some some major some major uh well, well here's the thing it would be different tv station if he was convicted and then later they overturned it because like they found out they were lying who the women yeah oh that okay. would be like if he was convicted for rape they found out they were lying he gets out of jail goes on a tour celebration He's out of jail because of a technicality. Like, there's no thing saying that he is not, he did not do these things with malicious intent. He got out due to a technicality, and he's like, celebration, let's do a comedy tour. Like, I mean, he waited a good year and a half. He let, he let the streets cool off everybody a little forget, bit. Dude, everybody forget, dude. No, forgot. I have not forgotten. You know what he should do is give everybody free fucking pudding pops in the audience. No. Mom, just come out. He'll be like, listen, I know we don't make them anymore. I got to hook up with Jello. We're making them again. You can only get them at my comedy tour. That's insane. I would. Um, I, I, know, I do want a pudding pop so bad. I don't think Jello's going to uh, go for that. I think they'd be like, please cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thing, though, Jonas. Like, okay, whether however you feel about Bill Cosby is Fair. is is 100 percent your decision, right? Is it not a genius move to be like, hey, put it out there? Because when it comes down to it, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Because whether you know his name for uh, being hilarious or whether you know his name for being a piece of crap, you know his name. 
you know? Yeah, it's like the whole that whole thing with Howard Stern, like back when he was on the radio, like it was like the people who hated him listened to him more than the people who liked him oh because, because they just want to see what he was going to say next. I love I love some of the Howard Stern clips that have been dug up and that are coming to light nowadays. Oh, they, oh yeah, he did some real racist dish too back then. Racist, sexist. He was <laughs> he was trying to get some girl to stand up on a scale. And he was like, "How much do you weigh? Because you're a little, you're a little heavier than most girls." And she was like, "What?" <laughs> and he was like, "Please, we just need you to stand on the scale. We're not, I'm not gonna stand on the scale." And he was like, "I'll show you my penis if you stand on the scale." I'm like, "Jesus Christ, Howard!" That's and what he. That's what I he, he said. I'll show you my penis if yes, you, yes. Like that's enticing. Howard Stern is the piece of shit too. I don't want anybody to get past Bill. Bill Cosby's a bigger piece of shit, but I guarantee you that Howard Stern got some. Cl- and this is the thing, man. It's like. When when you're starting out, when you are becoming a popular person, Jonas, in media, yeah. uh, we, you need to say stuff that is polarizing. You need to do things that are polarizing. I'm not saying rape women is polarizing. I'm saying that's wrong. But what I'm saying is that you need to do stuff that's polarizing that makes people angry because people are much You more- have to invoke emotion, whether you're going to make them angry or make them love you for whatever you're yes. saying. Yes. But people are more apt to respond to something that makes them angry than they are to something that makes them happy. Yeah, yeah. That's why almost every review online is negative because people want to spread the word when they had a bad experience. You don't exactly. want to spread the word when you had a good one. Exactly. It's, be- it's better to have no comment than to have a bad comment. You know? but you're right. You're engagement right. is engagement. If this video gets 100 down votes, Jonas, I'd be like, holy shit, that's the first time we got 100 people to press a button. Right, right. Like, if, if yeah, there was 100 people be like, you guys are POSs, you suck, like, whatever. I'd be like, what the hell did we say to get people so riled up? Yo, we should have an anti-podcast where we just speak about everything that we totally disagree with, but talk about it in a, in a light that... Yeah, except for then it's, like, written in uh, internet history is, like, us saying it. They can soundbite that up to till death, dude. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. But I'm... think about the cleanup, Jonas. Oh, the cleanup would be so good. Good, like when I lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows who you are yet. 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 Yeah, so I lose my job and my You can friends. say all the racist slurs you wanted my to. My mom disowns Jonas, me. Jonas, think about how cathartic it would be for your white Caucasian heart to say all of the racial slurs that have been Is that what us up. white folk want? I don't know. I'm just assuming. We just wish that we could say slurs like, just, <laughs> I God, I wish I could just slur today. That's all. I, I wake up every morning. I write in my journal. I wish I could slur today. <laughs> That's what happens every morning when I wake up. <laughs> I just thought it would be helpful for you. It was a good, it was a good analogy. <laughs> I'll take that one to the mothership and see how they feel about it. We should broadcast that on the five o'clock news. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> only, <laughs> only, I if thought I it might be it. helpful, dude. I'm trying to make this enticing for you to do the anti podcast, but it's fine. Yeah, no, if no. I mean, I'm, en- I'm enticed. I'm so, enticed. are you telling me that when Bill Cosby comes out with his comedy special? Um, now, mind you, I don't support anything that he does, but is that going to stop you from maybe going on YouTube and looking up a couple of his, uh, couple of his sets to see how he approaches it? Because when it comes down to it, oh, like, like when cu- people record it live and put it on the internet. Yeah, about like, morbid curiosity is going to cause people to engage. I mean, look at Dave Chappelle. He talked all that stuff about trans people, and then like his his specials get views because people want to watch it and get mad or watch it and see his point. Exactly, and that's my point. It's like the morbid curiosity is going to get you, or you're a true fan, and maybe the true fan, the morbid curiosity viewers, you know, kind of get skewed. You know, maybe there's more morbid curiosity. Well, you also but... have an out because if you if you watch it and someone judges you, you can be like, it's just a morbid curiosity. When really you're like, I love Bill Cosby. I can't wait to hear what he. Has I'm to not say. gonna lie. I want to know what he. I want to know how he's gonna approach this. I want to see what he's gonna say. And even if it's just to watch the Hindenburg explode and hit the ground, I want to see that. I want to go there and interview people that are standing in line and ask them what they think about Bill Cosby. No, that's insane. The people that actually go and pay for it, you're insane. You're insane. Like while they're lined up outside waiting for doors to open, just go and be like, hey, didn't, what do you think about Bill Cosby's past? (laughs) (laughs) The people that actually pay to go see it is just waiting for the uh, Jeffrey Epstein, like freaking improv hour to come out or the, (laughs) or the Harvey Weinstein, the the high diving compilation. I don't know what is happening right now. They just want to see, they just want to see like people who are bad 
thrive. That's what I'm saying. You're like, why don't you just put something on Harvey Weinstein's commissary? Freaking <laughs> put it on his commissary. Like the man doesn't have enough money. <laughs> Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. That's where the little happiness lives for uh, Jonas. TNT. Yep.